Happy Sunday everyone. I am just finishing up in my office as we are getting ready to head to Capri today. So I've been getting videos sorted and ready to be uploaded whilst I'm gone and just finishing off any kind of edits. We had a bit of a nightmare last week because my computer officially like died and luckily we have this system where our computer backs up and I was just able to reinstall the whole thing again, but it was a nightmare and it happened right before I put a video up. So we've been re-editing all of the stuff that we lost basically, but it's all sorted now, so that's good. My videos will go out whilst, whilst I'm away. I've had a delivery of stuff that I'm taking to Capri with me to hopefully wear and shoot whilst I'm out there. And I have to pack, get everything sorted because we leave the house i think at like 2 45 in the morning so it's going to be a bit of a killer day tomorrow so you might not see much of me hopefully i won't feel too bad but we've not really got to do anything when we're there so we arrive and we just chill out and then everything starts the next day we're going with dolce and gabbana and it's going to be a really lovely trip for a really iconic fragrance and also a makeup launch so looking forward to that so i need to kind of go through the box make sure everything fits start planning my outfits and packing and then head in the morning. So let's get cracking. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling productive. So, oh, I also finished my book this morning. I just finished reading Small Great Things and loved it, such a beautiful book. So many, like, so eye-opening and so many lessons I learned from it. So I'm really happy with that. My new book has arrived. So I've got a book to take with me to Capri, should I get time to read. But uh, to be honest, you don't really get a lot of time to do anything on work trips. So I'm gonna take it with me just in case, but I think I'll be spending most of my time either working or catching up on the sleep that I don't get tonight. But I'm really, really looking forward to seeing this part of Italy. I have wanted to visit Capri for so, so long. And I'm just really, really happy that you guys get to come with me for this as well. So yeah, anyway. Ugh. What happened to my voice then? I need to uh, drink some water, I think. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and get going. So the dressing room is all ready for me to start packing. It's actually quite tidy in here. I've got my new book. This was recommended by Kate Levy, so I purchased it on Amazon. And I hope it's the right one though. It has two different covers. I think that's the right one. Uh, my rail is set out to pick outfits. In this box is the items that I have been shopping for. So first up, I picked up this Zimmerman skirt, which is just stunning. It has a blouse to go with it, but I think it might be a little bit too much for me. So I'm thinking of putting like a linen white shirt, unbuttoned quite sort of low with that. I also got another Zimmerman dress. This is a white one that I remember from last season. I'm gonna pop all of this on and show you because I've got to try it on anyway to make sure everything fits and to make sure I've got the outfits. But I saw this last year and I really wanted to buy it and I never did, so I got it this year. Then we have a Dolce & Gabbana bralette, which I'm hoping is going to fit, but it's very difficult with bralettes to know what's actually going to fit me, so hopefully that works. And I've also got the skirt to match, so it's a cute little two-piece. I thought that this would look so cute in Capri. So I hope I got the right size in that, but that's the skirt. I got the skirt in a different size to the top. So hopefully that fits. It's this gorgeous floral print. And what else have we got in here? Oh, I got this top, which is kind of like a cropped puff sleeved top from a brand called Kate. And it cinches in using this little drawstring. So I've got that as well. Then I finally got myself, oh, in two bits. <laughs> oh no, that's actually just the top. The bikini, the Johanna Ortiz bikini of the swimsuit that I tried last time. Again, I've got it in two different sizes, so that just looks, I'm not doing anything any justice here, but I got the bottoms in the smallest size and then I sized up in the top so that it hopefully fits. And finally, another dress. I don't even know why I'm bothering showing you the stuff here because it looks terrible. I'm just showing you the print, I guess. This is a, how do you say this brand? This is a brand I've not ever purchased from. It's like Ghoul Hergel. But I loved this print, this kind of blue print. And it's got loads of ruffles, cute belt. So I think that's everything. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna try all of this stuff on, get it up on the rail and start styling things, just kind of making out where I'm gonna wear them for what it went, it went, event, and what day. 
So that is what I've been ordering from my Teresa. I will link everything in the description box down below as I normally would as well. And I'm gonna be showing you when and where and how I wear all of these outfits on my trip. So this is all going to be a very fashion focused vlog, making sure that you see absolutely everything that I'm wearing and how I'm styling it and all of the accessories and everything. But I'm going to quickly make Ali and I some cheese on toast and then I'm going to really sort of make a start on the packing process. I know that Ali has to pack as well and I think he's also planning on painting the steps, we're just gonna get it to a point where it looks mostly tidy because quite a lot of it is raw wood still. And it's gonna be a few weeks before Ken can come and stain everything and get everything going. So we're just gonna get things looking a little bit more presentable before we go. I've tidied the kitchen today because I like the kitchen being tidy when I leave, especially on trips. I like coming home to a nice clean house. We've got the cleaners coming on Tuesday. So it should be nice and clean for when we get back on Thursday. Fingers crossed that everyone that's gonna be in the house whilst we're away keeps it nice and tidy. <laughs> So I've popped on the first item that I'm trying on and it is my Zimmerman skirt. Super happy with this, it fits the dream. Obviously these items will still have their tags on because I haven't actually tried them on yet so I need to make sure that they fit in case I have to send them back. So these still have the tags on. Fits really perfectly, I'm gonna keep this one so tags are coming straight off. But I've styled it with my Castagna wedges, the pointed toe ones and a linen shirt and this just works really well with my style. I love a little bit of linen so this is, this is working into my kind of summer wardrobe perfectly. I like that the shirt is a little bit more covered, a little bit more structured. It needs a massive iron by the way. I tried to steam it, didn't quite work so yeah. But if you are quite small on your waist then the smallest size in this skirt will definitely fit because I always struggle to get things like this to fit but this is a really, really good size. I just had a thought actually that I might change the shoes to my strappy Christian Louboutin shoes that I wore for my birthday. I think that actually those will be super flattering with this skirt, so hold on a second. Oh yeah, I think these are the shoes that I would probably wear with this skirt. You're gonna to struggle to see them in this particular vlog, but you'll see them, well, if I get a chance to wear it when we're in Capri. I hope I do though, because I really like this. Yeah, so I could definitely go for a nude bag if I was to wear these shoes, but they are super kind of like minimal and barely there, which I really like at the moment, and goes perfectly with this skirt. So super happy with this, super happy with how it fits, and I'm definitely taking it with me to Capri. Yay! I'm just folding everything that I'm taking and putting it on here, so I'm trying to like keep it clear so that it's not... There we go. <laughs> this is the Ghoul... Hergel dress. I have, I honestly, I'm probably butchering that. I did try and Google it as well to see what the name was, but I couldn't find anyone pronouncing it. So this is the dress from there. It's a bit of a faff to get into. I was expecting like a zip that I could just kind of undo, but there's buttons and there's this belt and it like ties at the back. So it's a bit of a faff, but it's also quite like poofy. So I'm not 100% sold on that, which means that usually you guys will love it. So I'm gonna take it with me <laughs> and see if I wear it because I'm just, we're just so, I mean, different, I think. When I put on something and I'm like, oh, I'm not sure, you're always like, I love it. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it with me to Capri anyway and see if I wear it whilst I'm out there because I do really like it and it's super like ruffly and flouncy and it does feel kind of Capri vibes. So I think I will give it a try. I've styled it with my Valentino little mini rock stud bag and then I've got the sandals to match as well. But just wanted to show you what it looked like on. I like the length of it as well. It's a really cute length and sizing wise fit really well. So super happy with this and it's coming with me to Capri, but I'm not taking the tags off just yet. <laughs> Okay, this is what I mean about things not fitting around my waist. I sized up in the bralette, thank God I did, because if I'd gone with my like normal top size, I would have been squidging out everywhere. But this skirt is too big and this is my normal size. So I'm like, it's like not even close to fitting. On my hips, it's just a bit of a, a weird length, I feel, and even then it still doesn't fit on my hips. So a bit of a shame on that one. I might, I don't know whether rolling it up for the trip 
and then having it taken in when I come back because it's a beautiful print. I could maybe do it like that and get some pictures in it anyway and then get it tailored on the way back because I actually really, really like this. This is super cute and I love the print of it. I shall see, but I think I'm going to take it with me. <laughs> Losing my balance because I'm on my tippy toes. I'm going to take it with me just like the other dress and see if I wear it and then get it tailored on the way back. I think that's probably the best option. But this is a super cute floral two-piece, which I think is really flattering and I feel very comfortable in. And if it's hot, I'll feel very nice and cool as well. And it will go with sandals and heels and all of the good stuff. So, yeah. It's coming with me, but the tags aren't coming off yet. Will I ever stop buying white dresses? Probably not. So if you're gonna stick around these waters, we're gonna have to get used to the fact that I have a penchant for white dresses. And I love this one. I'm so glad I finally got it. I'm glad I waited for this season to see that it came back, but it's just a super cute, like delicate silhouette, but it's got really, really beautiful detailing on it. If I come in close, you can see it's got this beautiful lace insert here. Then it's got lots of different ruffles and pieces of lace and it fits really nicely. It's not too tight and it's not too oversized either. So I took my normal size in this and I'm super, super happy with it. I also just took a picture of this on my Instagram and almost took it off without showing you guys. So good job I remembered that I'm vlogging. <laughs> But I'd probably wear this quite casually with either some sandals or some castanio wedges and just let the dress do all of the talking. So, super happy. This is the puff sleeve top from Kate. I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. Terrible. Um, <laughs> and this is how I intended on styling it. So I got two ways to wear this skirt. Obviously, we're still not sure on this skirt. In fact, I think I know where my underwear solution is yes remember i told you about my little elastic i cut this out of a waistband i think of something and i use it so much to just kind of cinch things in whenever they need it try not to flash my knickers here Ooh. but this little bit of elastic i can either put this underneath the waistband to hold it up like so and then it fits a little bit better and i'm not worried about it falling down or anything like that but obviously the skirt itself would be better just cinched in like that but yeah this is just two ways to wear this skirt and I really really like it and this top is definitely staying because you can even put it with like bikini bottoms if you just want to be a little bit more covered up on the top and just to shoot maybe something cute or just because you fancy wearing a top with your bikini bottoms that would look really cute as well so I'm going to be definitely keeping this one and it's definitely a brand I'm going to be looking at more because it's super good quality love the puff sleeves and I've been seeing quite a lot from this brand and I think that, that this will be the first purchase of many so hoping I'm not flashing my bum at you when I'm doing all these twirls but we'll find out when we're editing won't we <laughs> I feel like I deserve a medal doing this after I've just eaten three slices of cheese on gluten toast, like not even gluten free, we've run out. So I, there's nothing to eat in the house because we're obviously going away. But yay, the bikini fits so much better than the swimsuit fit. I sized up in the top and it's a little bit loose, but it's much better than it's this loose than how tight it was when I had the swimsuit. But I bought the, what are they called? The bottoms in my normal size. I did try these on before with my pants on. They looked perfect, so I've taken my pants off because I'm keeping them. The back is super flattering and I just love this design so much. Again, Joanna Ortiz is like a brand that I am so badly falling in love with. The ready to wear stuff is a little bit uh, expensive, so it might be a while to like afford something from there, but the swimsuit was perfect and I love the colours of this. I think I actually prefer the colours of this to the swimsuit. So super duper happy with this as well. And I'll be taking this with me to Capri, yay. I've started folding stuff down, but everything else on this rail you will have seen before. I'm taking my Nasty Gal linen dress, but I'm also taking this. This needs to be washed, though, so I'm going to run this through the wash quickly. I'm taking my other Zimmerman midi dress with me, which is just beautiful. I'm also taking all of the Isabel Morant stuff with me. Dolce & Gabbana swimsuit and the matching dress. And hopefully you'll see all of this stuff start, started up when I'm out there. Now it's all about getting everything ready and packed away, ready to go in the morning.
morning everyone it is 2 a.m and our taxi that's taken us to the airport has just arrived and we are both up and sleepy af basically i'm wearing an acne hoodie that i got in my last my Teresa haul i've also got some primark leggings and some dior trainers dior bag and then i've also got my acne leather jacket just in case I get cold on the flight. So that is my travel outfit. Actually, this is my travel outfit there and back. I've got a change of leggings and a change of vest top. So let's let's get on our merry way to Capri. Let's go. We are just getting in the coolest taxi in the world. <laughs> Look at these seats. And they're white proof, amazing. <laughs> Love the colours. I love this. This is so cool. We have just arrived to our huge room. I think the bathroom is the same size as the room itself. Look at this. We've arrived to Capri with Dolce and Gabbana. We've got some gifts down here from them and we've got some cake. And I'm pretty sure that this is a Saletti or Sal yeah, I think it's Saletti piece of homeware which I'm so glad that I, I'm so proud that I was able to acknowledge that. We've got the most amazing balcony. The, I love how neutral and like calm this room is. Look at that gorgeous bed. And then, what? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. We could literally just set up breakfast there. Oh my goodness. Look at this view. Wow. Oh gosh, sorry if I'm looking extremely tired, but obviously I have been up since. You never really went to bed. No, we didn't really go to bed. I was quite unwell last night. Something that we ate was not good for us. I feel like I deserve a medal doing this after I've just eaten three slices of cheese on gluten toast. So I was a little bit poorly in the night and I didn't get much sleep. And then we were picked up. Well, I had to get up at half one, as you would have seen. And we've just been kind of, it was like a two hour flight, which I slept a little bit on. And then the boat, oh wow. That was the most stressful boat ride I've ever had because it's really windy today. So they took us off of the speedboat and they put us on a ferry because it would obviously be too dangerous. And it was so bad. People were throwing up all around us, like just walking down the aisles with their bags of like vomit. And obviously I'm petrified of being sick. I'm petrified of people being sick around me. I get seasick anyway. So I was like, oh my God, should I feel sick now? But the stress is over and this one comforted me the whole way and then fell asleep for about five minutes, <laughs> left me on my own. <laughs> I, just wanted, I just wanted to feed him. Lydia you did? Yeah, he was like, can I go get a packet of crisps? I was like, no, please don't leave me. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a big cake to eat now, haven't we? And I think we're gonna have a nap because look at my eyes that sky looks incredible it just doesn't even look real does it yeah wow it's so beautiful and the thing is it's quite nice i mean obviously we'd love it to be really really hot but in the same breath it's like so cool that there's not a lot of people here yet it's cold it is cold it is cold Whoa, because look of the wind but i think when the wind dies down it'll be fine but anyway i am gonna go eat something and go to sleep because i am hooper duped I've already got my slippers on. How snuggly. Oh, so happy. We've also just opened up some of the goodies that we got. Both Ali and I have a new pair of sunglasses from Dolce & Gabbana. And I've also just noticed that we've got these bathrobes, which they've put our names on. They say Dolce & Gabbana light blue. In the bathroom, we've also got some Shiseido bits, which are the group that run the whole Dolce & Gabbana beauty like thing. So yeah, very exciting stuff. But I think we're gonna demolish this cake now before having a nap because that's about all I can muster up at the moment. I'm gonna try my sunglasses though. Oh, here we go. I love them. And I actually don't have a pair of like dark glasses this big. after an epic night's sleep and I've washed my hair I am literally clean from head to toe and I feel like a new person after yesterday's journey it felt like a little bit of a blur because I was so tired that it just feels like it didn't really happen but it did it did happen and we're here we're here in Capri and we're waking up to the most beautiful beautiful view it literally just looks all I can see is blue right now look how gorgeous is that 
such a dream. But Ali and I have been waiting for our clothes to be ironed and steamed. We totally asked for an iron and an ironing board, but they wouldn't allow us to have one. So we've had to send all our clothes off to be ironed and steamed, which is something that we usually do ourselves as soon as we get here, like get everything prepped. Stuff is still waiting to come. So the outfit that I was gonna wear isn't ready yet, but we're still gonna go out and shoot. I'll show you my outfit in a second actually, because there's a mirror outside the front door. But yeah, we're gonna go and have a little bit of a walk around and get a feel for where we are and what there is to shoot here and just get cracking because we get quite like agitated because we just want to get out and do stuff and shoot and wow. enjoy the area. So that's what we're going to do this morning. But yeah, it's quite fresh as well. So I've got a cardigan on because <laughs> it's a little bit fresh, but it's fine. Makeup, I'm wearing the Laura Mercier Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer and I love it. I am so in love with this. It's so glowy. I've also been loaned this gorgeous like wicker D&G bag to use for the trip, which is lovely. I actually nearly bought this, so it's nice to be able to try it before I buy it. <laughs> this is outfit number one. Uh, you probably can't see me very well because I'm backlit, but I've got a Dolce & Gabbana skirt on, which I got from my Teresa, and then I've got the matching bra lit on as well. Um, but I've also got this cardigan to keep me warm. Then I've got Dolce & Gabbana bag, castagna wedges, and my husband. Badass mother. We have just arrived to Fontalina and it is absolutely beautiful here. Am I doing the intro? Yeah, I'm going to say it myself, but you say it <laughs> We've got the most beautiful spread here. There's lemons and a beautiful blue tablecloth, and then we can see the ocean. And I literally want that boat. Can we buy that boat? Yes. Thank you. I want to buy that boat. <laughs> but look at this. How gorgeous this is. I actually can't believe it. Wow. So I've been the most unblogger person ever, but I've started my food and I've not shown you, but it is so, so good. I always try to stop myself from having fish when I'm anywhere else other than by the sea, but oh, this is so good. It doesn't look it because I've already, you know, already started it. Oh, so you liked yours then? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Don't even try it. He's gonna try and steal my potatoes. I've got my fork ready. I know. It's literally just have a potato. No, no, not that one. <laughs> Good. We've just finished up shooting at La Fontalina and it is so, oh, I think this is my favorite place I've ever been. Look how stunning that is. I love it so much. But we are now going to head over because David Gandhi and Bianca Balti are just arriving. So we're gonna go and say hey, and probably fangirl just a little bit. <laughs> So we've just finished off down at La Fontalina and we're heading back now. Everyone else has gone on the boat, but I hope you can hear me over the wind. I decided not to go on the boat because it is very choppy today and I know what I'm like and I'll be like, yeah, it's fine, I'll be brave. And then I'll actually get on the boat and I'll instantly regret it and I'll be upset. So even Ali was like, I think it's best you just walk up. But literally, <laughs> this is like, the hardest walk in the world. So I'm treating this as my workout that I didn't do this morning and got the view of dreams behind me. I've literally not even started. This is gonna take me forever. I bet you they get back in the boat before I get to the hotel. <laughs> What's the time? I don't even know what the time is. Oh God. Okay, enough talking, otherwise I'll never get there. I'll see you at the top, hopefully. <laughs> Oh God, it's gonna take me forever at this rate. I keep stopping to film. Look how beautiful it is. Such a dream. Oh wow. A little bit higher up now. Wow. I wonder how many times I'm gonna say wow on this trip. <laughs> but seriously, wow. <laughs> Look at this. I can't believe it. 
incredible. This is tonight's makeup look. And I basically just refreshed the makeup that I had earlier and put my hair up in a bun because it was easy. I'm also refreshing earlier outfit, the bralette and skirt combination, but then I put this linen shirt from Mango over the top. And then I've got some cute little rock stud sandals on. And I've got a Dior bag as well that I'm taking with me, my little, oh, what one is it? It's this one here. You'll know it well. You'll know it well. We are going to be walking to our restaurant destination. So hopefully I'll be able to get Ali to get a quick outfit video so that you can see exactly what I'm wearing because this hotel doesn't have great mirrors. So I might need a little bit of assistance. All right, babe. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you say it. This dress is out anyway. I'm wearing it. It just feels so perfect to be here in Capri. So I decided to go with it and I actually really, really like it. I love how like ruffly and floofy it is. So I've tied my hair back to kind of keep it out of the way. Today we have a jam packed itinerary. And sorry if you can hear the drilling outside. I don't even know where that's coming from. But we're going on a Vespa ride around Capri and we've got lunch at Pauli, pa pao, something, something really well known here in Capri that I have no idea about. I'll tell you more later on. And I had the best night's sleep last night, so I'm literally feeling like wide awake. I could barely get up at like eight. It was ridiculous. Usually I'm up between like 6.30 and seven, but not today. I slept in and it was much needed. We're just waiting to go down and meet everyone and get on the Vespers basically. And I'm looking forward to it, but I'm gonna stop talking now because the drilling is really annoying. <laughs> Do you know those like bats that have like those like things around their necks that flare up? <laughs> kind of like looks like one of those. It's like something out of those Jurassic Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that one that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just arrived to the Vespers. I'm going to be going in this little mint green one here, and I can't really take you with me on it, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to try and get some shots from the car behind, but. I'm about to have a tour of Capri on a Vespa. We have just arrived at like what appears to be the top of Capri to the chairlift. That journey was actually really, really good. I was worried that I wasn't going to enjoy it because when people want to go fast and like show off, I get quite upset. But he went a really, really nice speed and it actually amazed me how much Italian I remember. And I was able to tell him to go like gently and not scare the living crap out of me. So that was good. And we're checking out the views and now we've come to the chairlift and we're going to go above Capri and then we're going to head for lunch. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh my God, I'm actually really scared. This is don't cry, Lydia, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. I thought we were going in twos on this, at least, but we're actually individual and oh my god, 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 and then there's Ali behind me. I can't even see him. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, if you see this on Instagram stories, please know that I was absolutely shitting just arrived to Paolino and it is just as beautiful as I thought it was going to be and we've got the most amazing food spread in front of us so I'm feeling very very spoiled at the moment. just finished up lunch well actually you know we haven't finished up yet we have dessert to go and I just sat down and Emily has told me that this cake is gluten free oh my goodness honestly I was kind of dreading like having to eat out here I thought I'd just have to bite the bullet and just eat gluten the whole time I was here I have not touched gluten the whole time and I'm in Italy okay my nonna does not understand 
gluten free at all. So this is a revelation and the pasta and the bread is amazing. Like seriously, England, I know that the Italians do it better in terms of food in every sense of the word, but we need to fix up. We need to start doing better gluten free stuff because I could live out here happily and never touch gluten again. Amazing, amazing. I'm gonna enjoy my cake though, now that I've given you the gluten free spiel. And I think we've got some ice cream afterwards as well, which I'm really excited about. We are currently tasting the ingredients for the D&G Light Blue Sun and I'm going to go in. Oh, I that you just can take the spoon and taste it. Mm. Mm. Oh, we are now choosing our ice cream. Oh, oh my gosh, which one am I going to go for? And you can oh. buy your favorite flavor in the Granito, of course. May I please have yeah. coconut? coconut? Coconut, yes. Oh my gosh, look at this! <gasps> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Nobody else having one? Good evening, everyone. We have finished up shooting here in Capri, finally. We are just getting ready for our last dinner with the Dolce & Gabbana beauty team. And I am wearing this gorgeous, like, mini dress, which is just such a cute print, I really like this. And I've matched it with the new Dolce & Gabbana Sun Beauty Collection, which is launching this year. And I'm wearing Costanza, yeah, Costanza. And it's like a really sheer, like it almost looks red when you take it out, but when you put it on your lips, it just gives it a kind of like natural flush. So that's what I'm wearing tonight. And I've put my hair back in a bun because CBA. This is the good thing about having short hair. I'm like, do I wear it straight? Do I wear it curly? Or do I just not care whatsoever and just put it back in a bun? And that's what I've done tonight. You can probably hear the sound of Ali getting ready in the room next to me, but we're going to be having dinner indoors tonight because it's been a little bit chilly here. Trying to make summer happen and it's just not a thing yet here. So we're gonna have an inside dinner this evening. That's actually not the lipstick that I'm wearing. Bear with me, I've been telling you it's Costanza. It is not Costanza. Let me go and find the lipstick that I have been wearing. The lipstick shade that I'm wearing is actually Agatha and that's the more kind of berry blush kind of ready tinge lip that I'm actually really, really loving and I've just got something black on my face. But I'm gonna pop a little bit more of this on and then we should be ready to go. Lovely. I have eaten like an absolute queen this entire trip, which has been brilliant. I feel like I haven't missed out at all on the carby, stodgy Italian food. I feel like I've been able to enjoy everything alongside everyone else and I haven't been unwell once, which I just, this is living my best life. I'm, I feel so lucky. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna kick Ali up the arse and we're going to head out. The shoes that I'm going to be wearing with this are my Christian Louboutin, like barely there nude heels. I'm gonna pop them on now, pack my bag, and then I should be ready to go. And you can see the remnants of my other outfits <laughs> just stacked up behind me there. <laughs> okay, this is the outfit. My strap keeps falling down though, so apologies, but I've got a Dolce & Gabbana cardigan on, Valentino bag, Christian Louboutin heels, and then I've also got my acne leather jacket with me just in case. But this is the final look for the trip. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this, wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is the sea bass. Look at this poor guy. <laughs> I cannot get over the food. Like this is look, my my dessert looks no different to Ali's. 
It literally looks the same. And yet mine has nothing that's gonna make me ill. And his one does. Wow. I just can't get, I've eaten, not once have I ever been on a trip where I've no, it's incredible. been able to eat what everyone else is having. Here come the lemon jellies. Oh, we got habit. Gracias. Little Yes, please. Gracias. Prego. Prego. It's very nice and cold. Ooh. Oh my god, this is delicious. Oh, have you already had some? Oh my god. It's all squidging out. Oh wow. everyone it is seven o'clock I've been up since five I am dressed in yet another airport chic all black outfit and face is looking a little bit tired a little bit more tired than it was last night that's for sure and we're gonna go and get the boat now and head to Naples where we're gonna then fly to Stansted I have an event this evening so I'm going straight from Heathrow to London where I will be going to an event with Sky for the screening of season two of Riviera. So I'm gonna need to head to the hotel like this. Hopefully they've got a room for me to get changed in and hopefully have a shower. And then we're gonna to head to the event together as well. So another day, another country, another outfit. So let's go. everyone I am looking rather tired at the moment I have just got to my room at the Rosewood I'm not actually staying the night but guy who I'm doing the event with today has kindly got me a room so I can get showered and do my makeup and get sorted for the event this evening I'm here to watch the first screening of the second season of Riviera and there's gonna be loads of other really lovely girls here and it's just gonna be super chilled and really nice. So I'm going to have the biggest, longest, warmest shower of my life and just get myself ready. I'm gonna wear my Zimmerman skirt and a linen shirt. Look how gross my hair is, it's literally like stuck to my head. Ugh. I've ordered a Red Bull, did I just tell you that? I'm, I feel like I'm delirious. I've got a Red Bull coming to ho hopefully like get me to wake up a little bit but i have been freezing the whole time in capri they didn't tell us what like the weather was like so i looked and it was like 19 20 degrees but the wind oh my god it was freezing and i didn't have appropriate clothing with me so yes it's been it's i just need to have the hottest shower of my life basically because it's cold <laughs> but it should be a really really fun night i've just raided the mini bar and got myself some water had some nuts and now I'm gonna open my suitcase and check that the bits that I bought in Capri made it home safely. Oh, fingers crossed. I think it did, you know. I think I, I think it made it home. <laughs> wow, I wish I bought more now. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm gonna get my toiletry stuff out. I'm gonna get my outfit out and get cracking because I need to look human again. <laughs> okay, so I'm finally ready. A little bit stressed because I probably relaxed for a little bit too long, but this is my outfit that I'm wearing. Sorry about the toilet next to me, but this is the full length mirror. I'm wearing my Louboutin, barely their heels, my Zimmerman skirt and a mango linen shirt. And then I've literally just waved my hair using the GHD Platinum Plus Styler. Makeup is Laura Mercier Illuminating Tinted Moisturiser by Terry CC, L'Oreal Lip and a Tom Ford Highlight. So I'm going to get going now. So I finished up at the event. I actually didn't vlog anything as usual because I was just chatting and we watched an episode of the new season so obviously I wasn't really using my camera all that much. But I've changed into some clean going home clothes and now I'm gonna go down and get my car home to the cats. I'm so excited to see them and get into my gorgeous comfy bed. <laughs> so excited. 